Hey everybody, Chris here, you join Off-Road. Let's talk about service. Let's talk about servicing your four-wheel drive van and also uh, running through the checklist. The checklist is something we give every customer when they pick up their van. And I usually tell them to go through it once they get home after some mileage. So we're gonna show you kind of the, the key points of the checklist. You don't have to go through everything, but we'll show you what we do want you to check once you get home. So it's time for an oil change and tire rotation on my van. So I figure it's a good time to go ahead and knock this video out. So we're gonna show you a couple tricks, things we do here uh, as far as maintenance and uh, servicing. So here we go. All right, first up is if you feel some play anywhere or you feel anything feels odd to you, quick way to uh, isolate that problem is to check ball joints, wheel bearings, and then your steering joints. So what Steven just did is jack up the front of the van under the axle, right under the, the pumpkin in the center section. And now he's gonna take a pry bar and he's gonna pry on the bottom of the tire. Just like that. He's gonna pick up on it with his hand on the top. And if you feel anything loose, then you need to isolate the problem, whether it's a wheel bearing issue or a ball joint issue. So this is where a friend comes in handy. If you're picking up on the tire, you do feel something loose, First thing you wanna do is look at the upper and lower ball joint, see if you see any play there. If you don't see play there, then it's a wheel bearing issue. And you've got an issue, you've either got a loose wheel bearing or a bad unit bearing, but then that tells you where the problem is. So jack it up one side at a time, pry on the tire up and down while feeling it. If you feel any play or any knocking, check the ball joints and then check the wheel bearings. All right, so if you feel like there might be, you feel a knock in the steering, or you think you might have a steering problem, what you're gonna do is have someone sit in the driver's seat and just move the steering wheel back and forth. Not violently, just nice and smooth, back and forth, left, right, left, right. And you're gonna look for any movement in any of the steering joints. This one's all tight, but this is what you wanna see. Nice, gentle back and forth. No knocking or rocking on any of the joints. You can also do the same thing for your track bar ends. Make sure there's no movement in the track bar ends. Another good way to do this is just simply put your hand on it. Put your hand on the tie rod, put your hand on the drag link. If you feel any knocking or anything out of the ordinary, then that's gonna help you isolate that problem. All right, now that we're up in the air, we're gonna do another visual check. Um, so I said, like I said earlier, we're doing an oil change on this rig right now in a tire rotation. Uh, we're also gonna grease it. So we're gonna grease the ball joints. We're gonna grease the drag link ends. We're gonna grease, grease the tie rod ends. And we're gonna grease the drive shafts. So check all the fittings. There's a, there's a grease fitting on the slip and on the CVs. Uh, if your steering wheel is off, super easy to fix. Uh, you just loosen the drag link clamps and then you rotate the drag link until your steering wheel is straight. We're also gonna check the diff fluids. We recommend changing your rear diff fluid about every 20, 25,000 miles. Uh, front diff doesn't see as much use and abuse, so I recommend uh, 40,000, 45,000 on that, along with the transmission fluid and the transfer case fluid. So while we're in the air, we're also going to check drive shaft bolts, and we're going to check the transfer case bolts, where it bolts to the extension housing, shock bolts, and just give everything a good visual. Sway bar hardware. Uh, front shackle bolts, rear shackle bolts, rear spring eye bolts. It's going to give everything a good uh, check. Put a wrench on everything and make sure it's all good. All right, time for the tire rotation. We do your standard X pattern where the rear tires move to the front and the front tires X back to the rear. Uh, we're just going to check brakes, make sure everything looks good. This conversion has about 15,000 miles on it, so... I don't expect anything to be worn, but while it's apart, we need to look at it. Time on our lift is uh, very hard to come by, so while it's here, we're gonna check everything we can. How does front brakes look, Steven? Fantastic. Good, so if you have good employees, they will clean your SSBCs just like that. <laughs> so that's it, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email, chris at youjoinoffroad.com. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook if you don't already, and have a great day.